hello students so let's start with mains answer writing practice question number 2 so the second question is what are the various issues around the ordinance making power of president and governors also discuss the safeguards which are in place to prevent misuse of ordinance making power so at first we have to explain about the ordinance making power and then about the issues of the ordinance making powers and then mention about the issues of ordinance making powers of president and governor and derive a conclusion to prevent the misuse of ordinance making power see here i am repeatedly uh, making questions upon the similar topic with which we can be clear about the concept called ordinance and article 213 and 123 articles will be cleared this whole topic will be cleared and it will be more easy to remember for us as it is like a revision okay so uh, i'm repeating this questions and these questions are mainly based upon the may current affairs okay so, so upon the same question we can get same uh, questions about 20 okay so let's continue so here ordinance means the law introduced it is a temporary law okay it is introduced by the state government or the central government without the approval of the legislature on a temporary basis so ordinance making power is provided to the president and the governor under articles 123 and 213 of the constitution respectively so article 123 of the constitution grants the president certain law making powers to promulgate ordinances during the absence of the parliament session and these ordinances have the same power like any law passed by the parliament but are in the temporary in nature likewise the governor of the state can issue ordinances under article 213 of the constitution when state legislative assembly is not in a session and the ordinance making power is the most important legislative power of the president and the governor but most of the time it is being misused by the government so over usage of ordinance making power may affect the principle of separation of power it leads to misuse of power by the president and the governor and the constitution and judiciary have provided the following safeguards to prevent its misuse they are the ordinance can be promulgated promulgated is nothing but passed okay it can be promulgated only when both houses or either of the two houses of the parliament are not in a session and an ordinance can be issued only on those subjects on which the parliament or the state legislative assembly can make laws and an ordinance cannot take away any of the fundamental rights because it affects the basic structure of the constitution and every ordinance must get approved within 6 weeks from the starting of the parliament session so the decision of the president to issue an ordinance can be questioned in the court for being misused that means ordinance making power of the president can be under judicial review okay so thus as per the constitution enacting the laws is a function of the legislature but the executive must show self resistance and should use ordinance making power only in unforeseen or urgent matters so this is regarding the second question so let's continue with the third question in the next lecture like next video thank you for watching